there's an old story in my family, the Palikou tale. They said after this navigator took his ali'i, who was going to Tahiti, and as they left this place, uh, I don't know how many weeks and months they were on the ocean, but then a great big storm came up, and there was no stars in the sky for days and days. So the navigator, Paliku, was lost, but he kept praying and praying to Kaneholani, God of the sky, to show him, show him the way, because he didn't dare tell anybody he didn't know where he was going. And how many days he prayed, finally, in the distance, he saw a cloud, and the cloud was in the shape of Tahiti. So he turned his canoe around and headed straight for that cloud, and he did reach Tahiti. Now, when Mao and them came up here with the crew of the Hokulea, they were talking. And then Mao explained, and I was listening, that that's how he can tell when land was close by, because the cloud does not move. If he wake up in the morning and he see the same cloud in the horizon, the same shape, he watch that cloud. And if for three, four days he keep watching that cloud, it's still there, he knows land. And I said to myself, oh, that's my family story. But then as the years went by and as storyteller after storyteller talked, then it changed to the shape of Tahiti. But I was amazed that Mao had said that. And that's what happened to my ancestor. He must have watched that cloud. And all these things are so important to you, to all of us island people, because we are all come from ships. We come from the canoe from the very beginning, and later on ships came, and we are all mingled with the blood of all different people that came on our island. That's why the ocean is so important. Things your generation have to think about, because it's in your folks' hands. How are you going to protect your island? Because we are an island people. Our ancestors are buried over here from the very beginning, because none of us ever just happened. It had to be many generations of kupuna who cast their seed on fertile ground that you are all here today. Many times my grandmother said that to me. Don't get smart, because you didn't just happen. So have respect of the things of your kupuna. And you know, with us asking questions, which you are doing now, lots of you want to know about your birthright, <coughs> who you are, what are your heritage? Your heritage comes from the canoe. Those first people that first came, we don't know for what reason, they decided to get on the big wa'a, the double canoe, and begin to leave the land they, they come from, whether it's Tahiti, Tonga, or wherever they came. That is your heritage, because everybody on that canoe were all of royal blood. That is your birthright. Nobody can take that away from you. They can take your money, they can imitate you, they can take all your land, but this they can never have as your birthright because you were born into it. Yeah, you folks all up on mind. Nobody like <laughs> ask questions. You know, you can go up, you know, a certain time of the day you come and the way you uh, stand, You'd be surprised, you see they have eyes, they have faces. 
It's the different way the sun sets. You can all go up there. Mm -hmm. now, Take you your know. time. And, and no and rush so you don't <laughs> fall. fall. There. Mainamukwe, a la kealuha, boy, kealuha, kealuha, valinu.